you have to be tenacious. There's lots of different forces are, are fighting you. You know, if you try to do something innovative and see people haven't seen it before, they don't want you to do it. For this building, Green Seed Apartments, we were killing watts from the very beginning. When I was developing the plans, every watt was an aggravation to me, and I tried to figure out how to kill it. They call me Bill, they call me Pop sometimes, and they call me the watt killer. So when you look at trying to minimize energy use, the first thing you look at is the shell. Then the second thing you look at is air infiltration. Very important to have a good hot water system. That's the next biggest thing. Then after that, you start trimming it down. You know, how does, how does the fans fit in? How do the lights fit in? How do the you know, appliances fit in? The Oregon Multifamily Energy Program contributes a lot. It knocks down the cost of each apartment by about $3,000. It helps that we own the building, we're gonna manage the building. We can take a few more chances with how the building is going to function. We took the trees that we cut down and then we used a lot of the wood throughout the building. We used extreme advanced framing construction. Everything is on 24 inch centers. We've eliminated 90% of the headers. We probably cut 50% of the lumber out of the building. We uh, do rainwater collection here to flush the toilets. We inject the water that we don't use back into the ground. We use a geothermal heat loop system. We bury pipes in the ground so that we can take advantage of the constant temperature of the earth. This is the the geothermal collection unit, the heat pump squeezes the energy out from the ground and then it puts it back into this system here, which is what distributes it to the building. The feature that these tenants would be looking at are energy efficiency and camaraderie being able to live in a place that actually has an environment that is healthy for you.